the spine. It's often referred to as a spinal column. But the issue with this is it's not a column at all. If I took a column and I bent it over like this, the column would collapse. But yet we do this every day and our spine doesn't collapse. This is actually a tensegrity model. It is a blend of compressive resistant members like the body of the vertebra and tension members which are all the muscle and fascia that surrounds the spinal column. The net effect of those two together creates a tensegrity model that I have right here. Now what you can see is you have these dowel rods which are analogous to the bodies of the vertebra but you have these rubber bands that actually pull everything around it in such a way that when you have a universal tension introduced to a structure it actually creates lift between every segment. So if we have a tensegrity spine it actually creates lift and allows the discs of the vertebrae more opportunity to be healthy. It allows this spine to extend flex and move around as we move around our body without collapsing and being very energy expensive. So by redefining the spine, we redefine the biomechanics of the body and we get closer to its natural design.